Hi, my name's Gavin Bottrell. My website's hickorygolf.co.uk. I've been collecting and playing with Hickory Golf Clubs for over 20 years. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about this very nice set of irons. And these are all made by Forgan of St Andrews, one of the oldest names in golf. Robert Forgan started making clubs under his own name in 1860 and these irons date from the 1920s. This is an associated set in that I didn't buy them or find them as a set but I made them up by collecting clubs from different sources and then uh, putting them together. So let me just take this off here. So I have the lofts uh, written down here and the uh, swing weights. So I'll briefly go through the set and show you. So they're the Forgan gold medal range and they have a large flag in the hole cleek mark and all but one of them has this Forgan stylized writing stamp here. They all have line faces and they're all rustless metal, meaning they're not mild steel. So they don't easily oxidize, they polish up really, really well, and they're a very, very good club to play with. So this is the longest iron in the set. This is a number one. And this is C2 swing weight and 22 degrees loft. So C2 is slightly less than a modern set of clubs. But as I've said in other videos that I've done, actually with Hickory Golf, it's no bad thing to have a lighter swing weight, particularly when it comes to the longer irons. And what you're particularly looking for in my opinion, is a club that's quite lightweight overall, so that you can essentially move it faster. So that's the one iron. Then we have a two iron, and that is the same swing weight, C2, and it's four degrees more, so it's 26 degrees. So that's probably be the equivalent of about a modern five. What I should say is when I make up a set of clubs, I do check that the head is very secure on the shaft. And if not, then I remove the hosel pin, uh, take the, sha sha uh, the head off, uh, clean out the hosel, and then re-glue it with using some epoxy. The brand I like to use in the UK is called Araldite. And then I put a brass pin back in and uh, sand it flush. And that for me really works, gives me a very good secure connection. All of these shafts that I use and certainly have used in these uh, clubs are original old shafts. Now there are uh, repro modern replica shafts, new hickory that's available. In fact I've just got to hand here, um, didn't really plan this but I just happen to have. Um, so this is a club with a new hickory shaft. Now one thing I find with new hickory is there's not as many annular growth rings. So it's a obviously a faster growing wood, faster growing tree. And I find that with new hickory, it doesn't quite have the springiness, the steeliness of old hickory in my opinion. Um, a lot of the clubs that I do pick up, the, if they're, they're old shafts, sometimes um, the shaft will have actually gone a bit soft and in which case it's no good for play any longer. It's just good for putting in a, a club that will ultimately become a wall hanger. So um, I've played both golf with, with new hickory and old hickory. Um, I have a preference for old hickory but um, there is some good new hickory out there, but you probably have to work a little bit harder to source it. So, 
we've done the one iron and the two iron. Then we have a three iron. Uh, which is another four degrees of loft, so that's 30 degrees of loft, and exactly the same swing weight as C2, as the, as the previous two. Then we have a four iron, which again is another four degrees on, so that's 34 degrees, which is probably about a... Uh, I don't know, some modern seven irons, uh, modern eight irons, sorry. Somewhere between a modern seven and an eight, depending on the, the, the maker of the clubs. So that's the four iron. Then we have a five iron, which is stamped up mashy. A lot of number fives were the direct uh, comparison to a mashy and a stamped mashy. So that is another four degrees, 38 degrees. Then we have a mashy niblick. And that one's got another little stamp there which says H. Gray and Sons of Cambridge, as well as the Forgan stamps. And H. Gray and Sons of Cambridge, they were a long standing sporting retailer, sold all manner of stuff. So that's the Mashy Niblick. And that is coming in at uh, C6. Uh, I don't think I said the swing weight of the five iron, which was actually C7. So slightly heavier than the first three irons, um, which is what you'd want actually. Generally, shorter clubs have a, a slightly more swing weight than the longer clubs. And then we have a Niblick which is at, uh, I don't think I said the loft of the Mashy Niblick, which was 43. And then the Niblick, which is a loft of 50 degrees. Now this one has the same cleat mark, but it's actually stamped up uh, Celtic or Celtic, depending on how you, how you might want to pronounce it. Um, I think it was meant to be uh, Celtic range. Um, so it's not the gold medal range but it's got the same cleat mark and um, fits very well with the other ones and that is a swing weight of d1 so to all intents and purposes the same as a modern wedge swing weight and then we have a putter which like the mashy niblick is also stamped up h gray and sons of cambridge and this one I've slightly tweaked so that it's got uh, only a, a minimal amount of loft on. You tend to find a lot of old putters have quite a lot of loft, sometimes 12, 13, 14 degrees, whereas a modern putter probably 3, 4 degrees or, or even slightly less. So that's the Forgan range of clubs of irons. If you have any questions, please either enter comments on the YouTube uh, dialog box. Please subscribe to my channel or pre please press the like button. Or you can contact me on info at timewarpgolf.com and my website is hickorygolf.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.